I'm 18 and I have his knowledge and experience to learn from and I'm starting so much earlier as well and we're gonna make millions of dollars off of each transaction I have more of a possibility of becoming another real estate billionaire hey I'm Isaac Marion youngest real estate entrepreneur here and Layla and Alex Harmozy told me I could be a billionaire and even bigger than they are so now to really think that they told me that I could be a billionaire and it was something that actually is so achievable to me is actually super inspiring and something that I've been deeply diving in and trying to figure out well could I actually do something like that so I want to share with you guys what I've come of it and really how I think I could probably be a billionaire and why they actually said something like that to me because in the first place you don't just go up to anybody random and say hey I think you could be a billionaire someday so I think and the thought of being a billionaire is so huge that many people don't even like think they could actually achieve something like that it used to be that millionaire was the big status but now I think it's actually shifted like being a billionaire is what used to be a millionaire in this day and age we all know inflation is rising and a million dollars isn't as much as you think like you need more multi millions of dollars to even retire otherwise you're gonna be working until you die so you should be planning on that and to think that one day I could have a thousand of a million dollars is crazy and I'm sure you've seen those little rice videos where it compares like one million dollars and there's a little pile of rice and then it compares a huge billion dollar pile of rice and then even bigger it shows like a Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk pile of rice and you can see the massive scalability difference and how big of those changes those are so to think from a million dollars to a billion dollars it's a crazy big difference so when I went to the future flipper mastermind in September I was so lucky enough to meet Layla and Alex Harmozy and we chatted with them and I was with Ryan Pineda and Brian Davila my coaches and Layla was telling me how I have so much time on my hands that I could be a billionaire someday and I could be bigger than they are because right now Layla and Alex Harmozy are on their way to become billionaires themselves and I actually consider them billionaires as they are right now even though their net worth might not show but for me I really think they have the knowledge they have the expertise and they are so wired in a way that they do already think like a billionaire it's just a matter of time and they have actually laid out the exact way they're going to become billionaires so when they found out that I'm like an 18 year old that's been closing deals at 17 they're like wow like they weren't even making this amount of money when they're my age and they weren't even doing anything close to doing deals and being around higher level people at the age of 18 so them when they're on their journey to become a billionaire and they see me already achieving way more at a younger age than where they were at it's like for them well yeah it's an obvious answer that I could be bigger than them but really let's break it down what they actually told me and shared with me throughout the mastermind I actually learned a lot from them and actually connected with them in a lot of ways too so I actually have thought about this for many months beforehand like even before meeting them and I've thought of like oh man I want to be Alex Hermosi Ryan Pineda Grant Cardone someday but it's gonna be me like I'm gonna have all of this knowledge I'm gonna have all this time and so much leverage against everything compared to what they had and this is a big point that Alex hit on one of his presentations at the mastermind is leverage and when you have leverage you can create more output and the more leverage you have the more you're gonna put out it doesn't matter how good you are yourself but you need to create some sort of leverage to really scale and grow to become so massive and every billionaire knows that they need to worry about leveraging time money and knowledge those are the three main things you need to leverage so let's first just talk about time because I know I hit it on a little bit but really let's deep dive into it so I'm 17 18 years old and I have a lot more time than they do because I'm really young just barely coming out of high school so I have so much more leverage on the amount of time I have just the amount of work I can put in over the years then you have knowledge which I think time and knowledge multiplied even just together is super powerful so because I'm so young and I have a lot of time now we can multiply that by knowledge and I have all these people I'm surrounding myself with including Alex and Layla Harmozy so I have all their knowledge and experiences to learn from as well as Brian Pineda's who is like one of my main coaches and Brian Davila's who's one of my main coaches and I have all these other people I surround myself with especially with social media nowadays you can literally watch anybody and learn from anybody's experiences that means I have much more capability of having more knowledge with time and I have much more knowledge at a younger age than Alex and Layla Harmozy did at the same age as me so factoring in the money side I'm already making way more than they probably saw when I've been doing a lot of ventures to create all this money that I have to reinvest and multiply itself alone and we all know within the investing world the sooner you invest that means the higher return you can get and the more of a hockey stick of a return you can get faster so if I have more time which is a huge factor so I'm young but then I have knowledge I have all these people to learn from I have the social media I have the web like I have way more tools to use at my fingertips 
attempts than they ever did. And then I multiply in the factor that I have more money than they did, then combining all those three things just makes the hockey stick come way even sooner and exponentially way more. And now at first, when Layla told me, she's like, you are gonna be bigger than us one day. My immediate response was like, no, no, no. You guys are like on the up and up. Like you guys are going like this. Like that hockey stick growth is hitting. They're nine figure entrepreneurs and they're going for a billion soon. Like in the next five years, they're gonna be billionaires. So to me, it's like, man, like, come on, you're hitting a billion dollars and you're gonna be hitting that hockey stick growth and you're gonna not stop growing. And you guys are a power couple. Like you guys are gonna be so much in business together. Like how could I actually beat that? But then when I really got thinking about it and then over the period of time, listening to Alex's presentations and all this other stuff, it just makes so much more sense to me why she would say something like that and how she can understand how much more time, money and knowledge that I'm able to have versus what they did. And just real quickly, I wanna share with you guys the leverage point that I learned from Alex's presentation. So quick example, you have one really highly professional trained salesperson, say he's the best in the world. Do you think that one person could do just as much as a hundred of average, below average salespeople? Do you think he could produce more output than the whole hundred of the other salespeople? Probably not, right? Like there's no way one person can be a hundred people. That just shows there's more leverage with a hundred than there is even just having the one best. So think about that for yourself and your own businesses as well. If you're the best and if you try to do everything on your own because you know that no one's as good as you, do you think you're gonna always put out way more even if there was someone else in this world that put together a team of a hundred and they weren't even close to being the best but because they put a team of a hundred that they're gonna knock you out of the park. Even though you think you're the best, you need more leverage, you need more people. You need to buy other people's time and you need to buy other people's efforts, their knowledge and you can multiply all those together and you'll have way more leverage. So just knowing this, and for me and my businesses, I've always wanted to kind of delegate out tasks so that I have more time to focus on higher level things. But it's also remembering that, you know, each person you hire might not be as good as you, but even if they did 80% of what you did, it allows you to free up your time to focus on other things and you could hire multiple people in that position and you have way more leverage than the other guy who's gonna be a solopreneur and doing it himself. So what do I actually think about this personally and what am I gonna do to actually maybe be a billionaire someday? So here's my plan. So right now I'm focused on wholesaling and flipping, you know, 17, 18 years old, I'm already starting. And I have a long-term vision. I have huge visions for like what I could do. I wanna hang around the big boys, right? But I need to focus on these smaller tasks before I can even, you know, focus on the big billionaire status task to get the ball rolling more and really start getting that hockey stick growth. Cause we know right now it's gonna be, it's gonna be slow and I have to accept that, but I also have to hustle and keep going even though I know it's not gonna be fast. So for me, I'm gonna focus on my flipping and wholesaling business to try to get that revenue stream so it's a consistent cash flow business. I'm gonna hire it out. I'm gonna delegate it to the point where like I won't spend as much time in it. In fact, I'll probably end up spending like maybe an hour a week on it. So I wanna do that so I can generate a ton of cash flow. I have this business that's generating real estate leads so that deals are coming in and I can literally grab onto these deals and buy them for myself or we can you know flip them and keep them in the business. And when I say buy them for myself, I mean buy and hold for long-term growth and long-term wealth versus just flipping for the cash grab, I would be buying for my wealth preservation versus, you know, the business is gonna generate cash flow. So we would have that. And then once we get to that point, I'm gonna be venturing out into kind of probably newer areas, but they're gonna be within real estate, within my knowledge and within, you know, my partners and everything. Like it's hard to see out that far, but what I'm thinking is I'm gonna be buying commercial units. I'm gonna be buying lots of more multifamily, especially because I'm creating a lot of income on this side. I need to create more wealth and preserve all this money that's coming in and grow it and multiply it because I do have a good cash flow coming in business but now I need to take that money and I need to allow the money to flow through me and then put it into more real estate appreciating assets or eventually probably a little bit of stocks here and there but focusing on the real estate side I can buy these massive massive buildings that have hundreds of units and we can create a team and again we can leverage our money and our time and our knowledge and create a bigger team that we are going to be leveraging with more expensive 
real estate with 100 units instead of just buying one property. And we're gonna make millions of dollars off of each transaction, whether we you know, flip the multifamily or we just buy and refinance and I'm just gonna hold. But eventually over time, that asset is gonna appreciate. I'm gonna own more of the asset as well as I'm gonna be able to do more business. So just thinking in that way, like that's exactly what Grant Cardone does. And that's exactly what Pineda Capital with Ryan Pineda they're doing. That's what all these syndication deals look like. And what I really think about it, because we all probably should know Grant Cardone here. And if you don't, he's a massive billionaire real estate investor who actually didn't really just start getting big until probably the last decade. Like he's been on social media the last decade and he's been you know growing massively in the real estate space. You know, it took him a while to actually hit his mark too, even though he was kind of successful when he was younger, but he hit a lot of roadblocks himself and he was going through a lot of stuff. But knowing that when I'm 18 and I have his knowledge and experience to learn from and I'm starting so much earlier as well and he didn't really start hitting his curve until later on that means I can see that I have more of a possibility of becoming another real estate billionaire so let me know your thoughts I want to know if you think I could be a billionaire and if you would want to you know help on that journey if you're in real estate as well I'm always looking for deals in Nashville and Tennessee area I live in Vermont currently I would do deals here as well but if we want to partner up whether you have some money you want to do some deals with or if you have you know the actual deal and you want to send it to me you know feel free to do that as well and and I really appreciate Alex and Leila Hermosi probably not watching this but they are super inspirational Alex and Leila Hermosi create massive value on the social media space as well so make sure you can go check them out you know Alex does a lot talks a lot of business and it's really like super informational there's no BS ever like <laughs> every single one of his videos is so much value so I just want to shout out them just because it inspired me to make this video and as well as you know to really focus on where I could be in my uh, vision in my life so thank you guys so much for watching this let me know your thoughts and whether you think I could be a billionaire and I'll see you guys in the next one and subscribe